Many of us today struggle financially to pay for a higher education. Even President Obama realizes this when he stated, in the United States of America, no one should go broke because they choose to go to college. He said that we as American students face a paradox. More than 60% of jobs in the next decade will require more than a high school diploma as the cost of schooling exceeds the rate of income. So today we're going to talk to you about the history of higher education as well as costs of education on the globe and last, some ways that our government is helping to lower educational costs. In a special report done on CNN Evening News show entitled In the Arena, special guest speaker Elliot Spitzer reported in a special report entitled Higher Costs of College that as increasingly as states are becoming more financially stressed, that raising tuition at public universities is becoming more and more. The Department of Education has required that colleges provide a student consumer information for a net price calculator. This legislation provided provisions within a website where consumers are directly able to find out how much college costs vary by price range. This feature is a part of the Higher Education Opportunity Act information on college costs. The price of college tuition has gone up 800% more than the inflation rate and also student loan debt is expected to reach the one trillion mark. It has changed vastly since 1940. A student could end up in a very expensive situation due to loans and the general cost of tuition and fees. A study done by the United States College Board at collegedata.com found that the average cost of tuition fees for the 2013-2014 school year was $30,094 at private colleges, $8,893 for state residents at private colleges, and $22,203 for out-of-state residents attending public universities. Going by the data on this chart, the United States ranks very close to last in terms of cost of education measured against median income, with a 51.34% affordability rating. This is topped only by Mexico's 110.1 and Japan's 5206, while Norway ranks first with a 2.24% afford affordability rating. On average, rating. the United States spends $15,171 on each student, and compared to Switzerland's $14,922, Mexico's $2,993, and countries in the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development's 9,313, we can conclude that the U.S. spends much more on students as well as charges much more. It's 22nd, 2013, President Obama gave a speech in Buffalo, New York on ways our government has tried to lower the cost of education. President Obama stated that there will be an income-based repayment plan. This is where 10% of a student's income will be the amount that they have to repay instead of a previous 15%. There is also a change of 20 years after the student's schooling, their debt will be forgiven instead of a previous 25 years. Pell Grants are another way that our government is trying to help students pay for college. A Pell Grant is money that the government gives to college students for, uh, their, for paying for school. The government assures us that the maximum payment for these Pell Grants has been raised and is continuing to grow. So we encourage all students to read up on these different policies at studentaid.gov or talk to your financial advisor to see if these policies may apply to you. In conclusion, now that you know a little bit more about the history of education costs as well as the United States compared to other countries and also the government's ways in helping lower costs. We encourage you to go to studentaid.gov. If you believe in a brighter future for yourself, then you should do your part to lower education costs. Remember, that's studentaid.gov, or talk to your financial advisor for options about grants or financial plans. Thank, Thank you. you.